like Shella, then you might actually say like, hey, that's pretty cool. I might be able to help you with this. You know, whenever you play a ladder game, well, no, no, whenever you watch a replay and you watch a replay of a certain map, in the start you see like the planet and you see like the galaxy around it. Like if you lo if you load up Ohana, you have this beautiful green palette, uh, green green planet on the yeah right yeah. side. I want to like zoom get in. That no, 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 no. I want to get that picture and put it as a painting in my wall. Oh. And then I thought about getting like seven of these planets in my wall, uh, on my wall, and have like the ultimate stalker room, and have like all these planets as, as sort of like paintings all around my room. I think that's super I cool. I and think I it's th quite cool as well. I don't know if it, I mean the I only way that I can think of that you could get the painting is if you had somebody actually do it for you, like yeah, paid of somebody. But like you could probably get the graphic and have it printed. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I can probably uh, go ask one of the Blizzard guys that we know, and like, hey, can I get those? graphics and then I can bring it somewhere to a company and they might be able to put it into a painting for me. We've actually been so lucky that we've been able to visit the Blizzard Studios uh, a I few times. I think it's a super cool idea, isn't it? Uh, it's an awesome idea. Um, but like, like the thing that... I, I'm not a particularly artistic person. I don't have artistic talents. But I, I really appreciate cool artwork. Mm -hmm. And like one of the most awesome things about visiting Blizzard is just they have all the artwork just plastered over the walls everywhere. The, the concept art... Uh, some of the awesome splash art, just every neat piece of artwork ever, ever to pass through the halls of Blizzard is, is on the walls somewhere there. And like, n n I would like nothing more than to just for Blizzard to be like, okay, Ben, you have <laughs> you have 10 minutes, <laughs> go get as many all. paintings as you want, and you can take them home with you. It would just be like, man, I wouldn't know what to yeah, do with yeah, myself. Blizzard has quite is basically one big playground for us. We just walk around like children there and we're like, oh my God, this yeah. is so cool and this is cool. Can I have it? <laughs> it's like, you can't take that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you can, but then you feel bad about taking it again. Still. Yeah, Blizzard is a really, really great company. I like them a lot. The people that work there, the work that they do there. Mm -hmm. Once more, Ben, a really quick extractor going down for Yon. Yep. Uh, Ryong is going to scout it over here. This is something that is just characteristic of Hyun. He always gets early Zergling speed. And it's awesome because it gives him the flexibility to do things like he did on Cloud Kingdom. Uh, you do give up a little bit of your early game economy. It's three drones that aren't mining minerals. It's going gonna, it's gonna to slow down your ability to fully saturate two bases. You might not be able to get four quick queens out doing something like this. But you have so much utility with the early ling speed. And, and and when you're a player of Hyun's caliber, a player who's not going to accidentally right-click your link somewhere and get him killed or miss micro and get choked up against Hellions, when you're this good, having those links out on the map is, wow, man, yeah, you can just do massive. so much with them. These two links are going to work on the first SFV. We see double refinery going down in the main base for Ryong. Uh, so I'm already kind of feeling like a factory and a Benchy follow-up, man. Uh, we'll see if I'm right or not. I guess another really... Uh, a ballsy call to make. It's quite standard, but I do think that's what we're going to see. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you. Um, Factory, Hellion, Banshee, pretty common. Uh, Ohana sometimes sees some drop play, like Elevator from the low ground up into the main base mm. at the top of the ramp. Uh, that's another possibility. Uh, and, uh, and Mech is not out of the question on this map either. Definitely not, but I must say I think Hyun is quite good against Mech. Oh yeah. I just think he's so good in buying time for himself, making that transition into Broodlord, knowing when to sacrifice a few units and not. And that's why I really love watching his play. In GSL, he has not been as flawless as he's been in a couple of the other competitions as we've seen him in. Uh, but still, he made it through, Ben. He made it through over a couple of world-class Terran players. You're right. You're absolutely right. And um, yeah, you have to feel like there's probably a lot of nerves attached to playing in that in that GSL studio. Uh. Yeah, certainly for him. I mean, there's kind of like a lot of hype around him suddenly, and all eyes were on him during the GSL, as he did not make it through Code A immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, he lost, I think, to Finale, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember watching that Müller game on Entombed, and he was doing everything right, besides base trading, and I was just screaming, it's like, Hyun, no! But then he still <laughs> qualified for Code S. I, I remember that game. And that's now he's funny. in the top four. And against Creator, I really think that's the first time that Hyun showed who he really is in GSL Code S. Uh, he's, uh, he's shown a lot of really phenomenal games. We are going to go ahead and see that Banshee that you talked about. I think it's going to even be a Cloak Banshee as there's a lot of gas saved yeah. up for Young. Starting to feel the same way as well. Young's taking a super fast third base, and this is not something you can get away with if you don't have speed links uh, because the Hellions just represent too much of a threat. So um, I like that. I like it a lot. I guess the other side of the coin is this fast third base is going to be a bit of a... There's going to be a lot of difficulty in defending it against the Banshees. It's going to be hard to defend both things at once. Of course, how uh, taking out these rocks is going to make uh, Hyun's life a little bit easier. He's going to produce six roaches as well, Ben. I was saying mm, more. seven even. It's a lot of roaches for just to defend against Hellion. So it kind of gives me the feeling eight roaches right now. 
Kind of gives me the feeling that he wants to at least be sort of aggressive and just drone up behind this. But with that first bench here already more than halfway done, I have a hard time imagining that all these roaches right now are really worth it. Yeah, it's sort of tough to believe that these are going to work, man, or uh, this attack is going to work. Uh, roaches are going to go ahead and pop out and start making their way across the map. I mm. guess a lot of it depends on where the Banshee is. He when, knows uh, about this as well, though, because he saw everything with that Overlord. It's kind of bizarre. It sort of reminds me a little bit of like when uh, you have uh, a Prodos matchup with the observers on the wrong side of the map, but the roaches aren't leaving, man. They're just going to yeah. sit back home and kill these rocks. So. Wow, there's so many trees burning down. Ryong, you're a crazy person. Pyromania. Environmental. Not an environmentalist. Uh, Banshee's going to start picking away at this queen. I think she is probably going to die. Second queen's going to... Oh, actually, no. Second queen's going to come down and save the day. Sporkrawl's going up as well. Perhaps those Roach men were not all that better of a day because there were eight Hellions. And eight Hellions, that's more normally a number where, Hellion, uh, where a Terran player is just like, you know what, I'm just going to rally the Nim and I'm going to try to kill as many drones as possible. There are so many drones quite explosive. Wow, those few links, man, those were lifesavers. Uh, three hero links, man. They, they were not sacrificed they in vain. They throw themselves on a grenade for these. Roaches. You do indeed. For the drones. Uh, Cloak Banshee is going to do a lot of damage to the roaches. It might even kill one or two, but um, uh, you, but uh, we, we're still seeing great work from Hyun just kind of deflecting and deflecting and deflecting. And eventually, this Banshee is going to run out of energy, and she's got very little health. I think uh, as soon as she does, it's going to take like, what, two, three queen shots to, to knock her out of the sky. Let's follow first person uh, Ryong. Ryong is paying attention, man. Such a good Terran player as he is. Axiom's blessing is all over him. These guys both playing very, very fast. 200 APM for each of them. And uh, Hyun right now he does have the double E, or double, not eBay, evolution chamber going. Yeah, we saw double armory going up on the other side of the map. Right now, more additional factories are going down as well. So, as you said, Ben, Ohana, a lot of Terran players feel quite okay playing mech on this map. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a small ish map. Uh, makes the mech push a lot easier to do. It's also. A little bit easier to defend three bases on Ohana than it is on some other maps. Some maps like, um, I don't know. Antigua should be. Antigua or, uh, or I'm trying to think of Abyssal City. I, I was, I, just the name just completely escaped me. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we saw all the, the Muslim being successful with mech there too. So there's definitely a lot of viability to the play style no matter what map you're on. Even though I do think Hyun's just awesome against it. Good scout over here by Hyung as well, Ben. This overseer sees everything, sees the armory, sees the additional factories going down. So if he had any doubt of what he was playing against, he knows it right now. Uh, his economy uh, right now is very good, 76 drones. So hey, maybe that's why he took that sort of economic sacrifice early mid on to make sure that he was not going to fight a crazy battle where he would just lose drones, lose drones, lose drones. And perhaps yeah, he was afraid of even more Hellions. It were eight. Perhaps he was afraid it would be 12 or something. And you know what? He said to himself, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Going to make an investment right now. After this, I'm still going to drone up really, really hard. And I'll be fine. Oh, oh. No cancel by Yeah, Ian. Uncharacteristic mistake there. Banshee's doing great work. They're even going to kill a couple queens. Uh, oh. So a uh, pretty annoying bit of harassment here. These Banshees proven to be very, very effective. This is kind of MVP style of mech. Uh, with an emphasis on the Banshees and then later following up so with uh, the Thors. We're actually going to see a couple Minas. of Mutas being produced. I, that's not a choice that... And there's still 21 larvae. I would love to see him just going all out on the mutas, but just suddenly make 30. Okay. I, I would love to see it too. Sadly, wow, he look doesn't at have the, the gas look for at that. The, uh, the game sense by Ryong. He's, he's dropping uh, missile turrets while the first mutas are in production 12 minutes into this game. Upgrade. Has he seen the spire? No, he has no idea. That's yeah. kind of bizarre. And now 19 roaches are in production as well. This is kind of crazy what Ryong is, uh, Hyung is doing right now. He's just waiting for a long time to decide what he wants to do with all his larvae and all his money. He saved it up on purpose. Lost that fourth base. And now suddenly he makes a ton of units. I don't really see him busting. Uh, yeah, he's not going to bust. He needs to retake a fourth. Mutas are absolutely not going to work against yeah. the, the Thors that are out on the map right now. And with the turrets out... Uh, it's just not going to really be impossible to, or possible to attack Ryong. So uh, this is tough for Hyun. Yeah. I actually, I think I feel like he's made a couple of wrong, d wrong decisions here. Maybe he's just misreading his game. Of course, we can't really see what was going through his mind all along. Uh, yeah, these seven meters, man, they're not going to pay for themselves anymore. No, no, no. Certainly not now uh, that Ryong really knows. We see a couple of additional turrets going up. I mean, I, I've always been of the opinion that Roach Drop is the absolute best way to play against this kind of a mech. And Hyun's maxed out right now, Kevin. He could be maxed with Drop. And at that point in the game, you just drop on top of the mech army and it dies. 50 supply lead, Roach is on top of your tanks and Thors. It's, it's kind of... Maybe those Mutas are just there to deal with the Banshees. After all, there were quite a few Banshees on the map. But they are seven is 
Ooh, Ling's gonna catch this Thor out in the middle of the map. Well, there are but, SCVs uh, there, man. There are SCVs, there are Banshees, and oh, Hyun's just gonna go right in. He oh. wants to fight right now. Oh. Uh, man, he's taking way too much damage. He's overcommitting to this engagement. He will pick off a couple of Thors. He will pick off a couple of Siege things, and he's gonna continue pushing. Well, this is actually doing surprisingly well. <laughs> yeah, certainly with four Banshees idling above it. If only that Overseer was closer to deal with these uh, Banshees right now. There's oh. a single turret. The turret does die. I can't oh, believe that he Eon. just A-moved no into way. that and killed it. This that was not stupid. supposed to work. That was not supposed to work at all. And it did work. And I don't really have a good explanation for anybody. And there are 34 roaches streaming across the map right now, Ben. Yes, we might see him stabilize a little bit longer. All the Banshees dies. These Mudas, they did pay for themselves. Yes, they oh, did. Are you kidding me? The, the, band, the Mudas were he heroes. The, the roaches were good enough. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote, man. This is uh, this game's over. Uh, this is stupid, man. This that guy, doesn't this that guy. doesn't work for anybody no, else in the world. That does not work. We were supposed to say that that was a terrible engagement. And there man. was everything was supposed to die, <laughs> and then Ryung was just gonna be like. Whoa. And we were supposed to say that Hyun was human after all. But in fact, it's it's not the case. GG. I am kind of speechless. Can you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I can't. I can't believe what we just saw. Uh, yeah, I, the only word that I can come up with is roaches. Can we take another look at that? I'm not sure if that's I, possible I would or not. Actually I, I think that would be quite cool because Tours, okay, yes, they were a tiny bit exposed, but man, there were so many Hellions. There were, t there were tanks there behind were that. There were The upgrades for the Roaches were, was 1-2, I believe. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe yeah, it was 1-2. Yeah, one 1-2 two two. at the end of the game, maybe. Yeah, uh, no, I think it was 1-2 at the engagement as well. But still, you had those Mutalists there. Yeah, okay, you had all those Roaches, but come on. Yeah, so uh, we're actually having uh, the replay queued up, guys. We're going we're gonna to play that back. He young man taking a 2-0 lead over that Rion. That made two. no sense. No, like he lost his fourth base. He took a small economic in, well, indirect damage by making all these units early on, making sports, being safe. He didn't really lose a lot of drones, but his economy wasn't booming either, like we often see for Zergs. And then he made this, and we kind of like, we're questionable. We're questioning his army uh, composition, like, okay, there's seven mutas. Suddenly you're making a lot of roaches, but your upgrades are not that quick. They're not superior to your opponent. Yeah, uh... I uh. I really don't. I mean, here it is. This is this is the engagement. These Durgans are like, oh, hey, look, a Thor. The Roach is like, oh, Thor? Did you say Thor? And look, those four benches, man. They're going to deal so much damage. This is never supposed to work. I guess one tank or two tanks a little late to siege up. But it just it just kills everything. The focus fire of the Roaches is so good. Look how few damage he actually used early on to and deal and with Hellions. And, yeah, and he's he's using groups of Roaches to focus yeah. groups of mech. And here come the Mutas to save the day. They clean it all up. That was still not supposed to work. I mean, we can play it back 20 times. <laughs> Those few Mutas, Ben, were game winners. Yeah. Those uh, three guys. There's, there's Those three little Mutas, of which one of them had like 10 HP. If that guy doesn't get a purple heart of young, I don't know what it is. Young always plays with purple as well, so he deserves one. But yeah, well, uh, if he can, that is. That was that was. That was a crazy game. This also means that Hyun <laughs> takes a 2-0 lead, perhaps the hottest Zerg in the world. Well, after life, I guess life winning two majors is uh, perhaps still a little bit hotter. So, I mean, we can hype Hyun all we want, and he deserves it. We've been doing it for a long time, but he doesn't have that major he's title yet. He's still not a GSL champ. He's still not an MLG champ, but uh, he's he's actually uh, he, he's, he's on looking, track for... He's looking like one. For a couple of those things, He's guys. He's not there yet. Maybe Ryung will be able to complete the comeback, but winning three games <sighs> in a row against Ryung? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tall order. Guys, that last map brought to you by Audible. Download and listen to a bestseller today. NASL.tv slash P slash Audible is where you want to go to do it. We're going to take a break. I'm going to try to figure out what the hell happened in that last map. And then game three when we get back.